These are the holy men whom the Lord chose in his own perfect love. To them he gave eternal glory. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Amen. On this feast day of Saints Simon and Jude, Apostles, let us first of all, right at the beginning of this celebration, humbly acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord to cleanse our hearts. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by the blessed apostles have brought us to acknowledge your name, graciously grant, through the intercession of saints Simon and Jude, that the Church may constantly grow by increase of the peoples who believe in you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. You are no longer aliens or foreign visitors. You are citizens like all the saints and part of God's household. You are part of a building that has the apostles and prophets for its foundation and Christ Jesus himself for its main cornerstone. As every structure is aligned on him, all grow into one holy temple in the Lord. And you too, in him, are being built into a house where God lives in the Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Their word goes forth through all the earth. Their word goes forth through all the earth. The heavens proclaim the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth the work of his hands. Day unto day takes up the story, and night unto night makes known the message. Their word goes forth through all the earth. No speech, no word, no voice is heard, yet their span extends through all the earth. Their, their word words goes to the forth. utmost bounds of the world. Their word goes forth through all the earth. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 
We praise you, O God. We acknowledge you to be the Lord. The glorious company of the apostles praise you, O Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went out into the hills to pray, and he spent the whole night in prayer to God. When day came, he summoned his disciples and picked out twelve of them. He called them apostles. Simon, whom ye call Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, son of Alphaeus, Simon called the Zealot, Judas, son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. He then came down with them and stopped at a piece of level ground where there was a large gathering of his disciples with a great crowd of people from all parts of Judea and from Jerusalem and from the coastal region of Tyre and Sidon who had come to hear him and to be cured of their diseases. People tormented by unclean spirits were also cured and everyone in the crowd was trying to touch him because power came out of him that cured them all. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear people of God, after Marlene Monroe, an American actress, model, and singer who had taken her life. Her husband was interviewed by some of the media people with a question, why did Marlene take her life? The husband Joe clearly said she had everything to live with but nothing to live for. Here we have two great apostles, very less known. Seldom we hear their names in our preachings or among the people. These two saints, the apostles, though less known, does not mean less important. Regardless of their popularity, they are the apostles chosen by the Lord as the messengers to take his love and pass it on to the world. And we who are here as believers are to do the same. That is what the first reading beautifully puts it, that in God's house there is no stranger or aliens. We are all the fellow citizens of the saints and the members of the household of God. Yes, we are set apart by God to love the other in a special way as God has loved us in a very special way. But in reality, what we see is different. We all have to travel towards that dream of St. Paul. In him, you are being built into this temple and to become a dwelling place of God in the spirit. Even in our families, religious houses, basic ecclesial communities, we consider so many peoples as strangers, slaves, aliens from another planet. We are called to be the temple of the Spirit of the Lord. That means 
we need to become contributors. That is why the author of the book of uh, the eighth habit and the first things of first uh, is Stephen Covey. He says, life is not about accumulation, but it is all about contribution. Simon, the Canaanite, the zealous one. Jude, he is also called Thaddeus. And he is uh, commonly or popularly known as a patron of uh, hopeless cases, the saint of the last resort, just because of his name. But even now we can see through their intercession, they contribute. Contribute to the welfare of each one of us. In our life, we have to do and ask a question today as we celebrate these two apostles. In what way can I contribute to my community, to my family, and to the church? That is what this feast is all about, that we can give the best to God in order to receive the best from God himself. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <laughs> As we venerate the perpetual glory of the holy apostles Simon and Jude, O Lord, we ask that you receive our prayers and lead us to worthy celebration of the sacred mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory 
as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me, The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy 
we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Having received this sacrament, O Lord, we humbly implore you in the Holy Spirit that what we do to honor the glorious passion of the Apostles Simon and Jude may keep us ever in your love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord.